Hi gang, it's teacher Melissa and I want to talk to you today about a cultural exchange that I think would be a good idea to consider adding to your repertoire as a VIP kid online teacher. And this is about Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So I'm going to tell you right at the beginning, I'm going to tell you what your students and parents likely know already, what they likely do not know, and give you some ideas of how you can talk about it in your class. So I want to start off with saying this is more than likely for upper level students. If you teach two and below, you can probably just click stop unless you want to go ahead and watch now to get some ideas of what some of us upper level teachers are talking about with our students or in case you might get some new students over this Chinese New Year where you've got lots of uh, supplemental classes coming in. So. Um, this is probably likely for upper level students, um, unless you've got a younger student that you regularly have a little bit of talking time to for building rapport with a parent. So that's what this is for. Now, I will tell you that um, I have gotten a lot of the information about what students and parents know from either parents that I have spoken to personally in my class time or and or from a Facebook acquaintance of mine. His name is Daniel Tsai, C-A-I, and he has a wonderful Facebook group called All Things China for VIP Kid Teachers. And he helps us with uh, translations and cultural uh, questions that we have. So I recently asked him about what our families in China know about uh, Martin Luther King Jr. What they know, how much they know, and how much extension I can do. And he was a great wealth of information to tell me what they do know. So they learn world history just like we do in America. And Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is one American figure that they do learn a lot about in their textbooks. And they learn about him starting in younger grades. They they learn uh, about the civil rights movement a little bit in, in younger grades, um, even uh, sixth grade, what we would consider like junior high, somewhere around there, pretty much the, about the time when students in America really begin to uh, get a little deeper into some of these things. And um, so that they do they do learn that. They, they And I'm going to pop up. We see this in some of our VIP kid lessons. Uh, we've got a whole unit on uh, American heroes, and you can see that we do teach about Harriet Tubman and enslaved people, and uh, it touches on the uh, poor treatment of black people in America at the time. There's a whole multiple lessons in this unit about uh, King and how he spoke for black people. It talks about the bus boycott, doesn't call it a boycott, but talks about how black people had to stand up on the bus and he told people that that wasn't right. And so in, in simplified ESL terms, of course, but it, it does talk about this. So this is not something that some of your upper level students are going to be completely unaware of. And of course they watch movies and they watch the news of today and they know it's an ongoing issue. And so they do have some knowledge of this quite a bit. And your parents absolutely do because they have actually learned about the I Have a Dream speech in their high school textbooks. And Daniel was kind enough to send me a screenshot of a Chinese text, high school textbook with Dr. Martin Luther King giving the speech and talking about the speech. So many of your students have some knowledge and your parents have a lot of knowledge about this. But I'm advocating that we bring it up as a holiday because what I have learned is that even the parents are surprised, and the children certainly are, that we actually have a holiday that honors and celebrates this man's life and his work and his legacy. So that's coming up. So just like any other holiday, it's 4th of July, it's Christmas. It doesn't matter what unit I'm teaching. If it's a holiday or something I can culturally share about America, I'm going to bring it up in class. So I'm going to bring this up no matter what unit I'm in. I'm going to say, oh, did you know? Soon there is another holiday in America. And I might show a calendar. I often just, if it's really close, I will just show my days of the week and I'll say, oh, today is Friday. On Monday, one, two, three days from now, on Monday, we have a holiday in America. And it honors Martin Luther King Jr. Now, I like to show a picture. 
because they're trying to hear it in English and translate it. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> they're trying to hear it and translate it. And um, it helps often to have a visual. We know that, right? That's part of our ESL training, right? So I like to show kind of a collage of pictures because I'm not sure which picture they have seen. Now, honestly, I just Googled this on my phone and, and, and I didn't make this collage. These are just some that come up. I scrolled until I had a nice good little collage there. So they might uh, have seen one or more of these kind of iconic pictures of Dr. King. And so maybe a light bulb, maybe not. If there's no light bulb, I'll say, yes, he was an important man. He spoke for the equality of black people in the 19. 60s and I, I'll write that on my screen 1960s so they as soon as they see the year they get it and he was very important and we honor him he was a great man so I just might say that so we have the holiday on this day now now I'm going to tell them and, and I, I even had a mom say really today even today you honor him because she knew he was a famous person and that he that we honor that we honor his legacy but did not know that there was a national holiday on that day. So that's what I think some of them may be surprised about and you can exchange with them. So I'll say, yes, it is a holiday. It is not like Christmas. We do not have a big family feast. It is not like Chinese New Year with fireworks and it is not like a very big holiday. It is a small holiday, but an important one. In America, most schools, no school. No school, no college, no university. Most schools have no school that day to honor this man. And no banks. All of the banks where you put your money, all the banks are closed. No banks, no schools. Most schools do not have school. And on TV, now remember, I'm talking to upper level students. I'm not telling you to do this with your twos or even mid-level threes, okay? Okay. You can try with mid-level three and keep it simple. I'm giving you the big extension for my level five, six, seven students, all right? And my level fours get this often too. Um, on, on TV, we watch the famous speech, I have a dream. Remember, he gave a speech. I have a dream that one day all black people and white people will live together in peace and the same. And very simplified, of course. And, and we watch the, some people watch this speech on TV to remember his important message. And some people have meetings in the community to serve others, to honor him because he served others. So now notice I'm using the word some. Of course, everybody in the country doesn't do this. You may not do this, and that's okay if you do not do these things. You can still say that some people. I talk about Hanukkah. I talk about Ramadan when I'm sharing some of these holidays. I don't celebrate these. I celebrate other holidays. You may celebrate Ramadan and not Christmas, but you may mention Christmas as a cultural exchange at that time of, of the year. So same with this. Just say some people in America celebrate this, and it is a special day in America to remember this man. So you have it on your phone, printed, whatever. So I just want to encourage you to bring up this holiday. It's a great cultural exchange. Uh, your parents like to hear it. It's a good marketing tool for you. And it's also a way to bring a little bit of, um, of diversity in. VIP Kid wants us. Obviously, we're teaching about it, and they teach about it in China. So speaking about this is certainly appropriate with some of your upper-level students. So try this out and let me know how it goes. Thanks.